So guys, I know I did say that I would do every two weeks when it comes to the manga, webtoons, and manga recommendation list. And I may have to kind of tweak that, revise that. So probably every two or three weeks. It depends on how busy my schedule is. And I'm sorry about that because I don't realize how much stuff I'm taking on my own plate. But that's okay, you know, because this is not something that's done every day or every other day or or every week okay this is more so me trying to scope out what best series that you know i enjoy and hopefully you guys enjoy so without further ado here today is my recommendation in my manga manhwa and webtoon recommendations list and this series actually i came to find out about it on tumblr you can also find me on tumblr and i saw this person post a lot of their artwork their illustrations on tumblr and then they put under the post that they do this webtoon comic on webtoons and on tapas and you can also find more of the uh spicier version the r18 version meaning no one under the age of 18 should be viewing this on patreon and i'm talking about a uh, series that's set in I'm going to guess the 14 to 1500s possibly in Europe I'm talking about the dark fantasy romance Antoman by and I'm sorry if I butcher the name it's kind of hard on the tongue for me personally to pronounce so it's like half illustration so illustre Ariana Ariana so I'm sorry if I butchered the name, but of course I'm going to put up the screenshot for how it looks on Webtoons because that's where I read it. Remember, Webtoons you can read for free and if you want to pay, you can pay. Uh, you can also find her on Tapas as well. Uh, and when I found out that she has a comic, the same post she posts on Tumblr, and I found out that she does the comic of the same name, of the characters on webtoons i instantly had to come to webtoons and start reading it and man i am enjoying this series i believe they're up to because she breaks the story down into like parts so right now currently is at part 14 but as i'm looking at it it's actually chapter 51 as they upload onto webtoons and like i said it's a dark fantasy romance and even though webtoons is more like pg-13 and under um you can tell this story was meant to be very dark very dark and also also this is a story for monster lovers in particular this is really a story for monster lovers so i would highly recommend if you love anything with um creatures that are not human you know like uh gargoyles werewolves uh, vampires nagas yeah i search up a lot of these names there's probably others that i um haven't mentioned or i they are not coming to me now but definitely if you are into that type of stuff i highly recommend check out antoman on webtoons and if you can support the creator on patreon she does leave a link in in the webtoons itself under after a chapter so um this story like i stated earlier it's based on what i'm seeing it says sometime during a time where the church was basically the government the 1400s or the 1500s if, if the one thing that probably makes it easier for you guys to visualize and this is the best thing i can uh correlate it to think of castlevania not in the sense of like all the events that's happened in castlevania but in terms of time setting you know and where you know women were submissive to men church is like you know you must obey the laws of god or if not you're hearsay and you're doing witchcraft okay and then we have our main characters both Lena and Rain. Mind you, Rain is not his real name. He is a gargoyle. So he's stone, stone during the day and a winged seven foot, eight foot tall marble stone like 
creature. I don't know how to describe gargoyles. Like I'm trying to describe it as I'm picturing in my head. I mean, the, the, the actual version is there, but you, you can get it. If you're a monster lover, you can get by it. <laughs> you can really get behind this. I mean, the best, the only other time I've seen like gargoyles being used in media you know and it gained popularity is the show that used to show back in the late 90s to early 2000 gargoyles on disney channel so um i haven't really seen gargoyles used in a positive light since then and this one is doing that right now currently in you know 2022 of course the series came out i believe in 2019 or 2020 and it's still ongoing so it uploads like every like every other wednesday so twice a month or three times a month depending on the month so um those are our main characters of course other several characters are introduced into the series like faye the cat best cat there is there is meg who is the best friend of lena then we have lena's disgusting fiance who is the pastor of the church that she attends to and you come to find out how they became you know fiance how they're engaged and it's kind of messed up and even now as the story's ongoing it's still kind of a mystery as to why lena father allowed such a thing to occur so Lena is basically uh, an only child. She doesn't have her parents, both her parents. If I want to give you guys like a brief overview of Lena, the main heroine of this entire series, both of her parents have passed away. And just before they pass away, um, her father, before he passed away, he basically got his daughter, his only daughter, Lena, to be engaged to the pastor of their local church, okay? This man is like looking like he's twice her age. He's bald, he's fat, he looks grotesque. Compared to our male love interest, Rain, he is something that you do not want to even reach with a 100 foot pole, okay? And you're wondering why did her father, if she claims her father loves her and everything, why did he leave her in the hands of a man that only wants to control her and doesn't respect her? Remember at, at the end of the day, this story is set around the 14, 1500s and everything like that. And he wants to control her. And while they're at church, she's not praying to God. She's praying to the gods that her mother used to worship, you know, the witches and such. And he's doing everything he can to stop her from doing that. And if not, he's going to remove the devil or the witch out of her forcefully. So you can kind of guess what type of man he is. And he only wants her for the property and also want her for whatever devious schemes or nasty trickeries he wants. He's just a disgusting character. Mind you, this is dark this is a dark series and it's not for the faint-hearted okay as much as we love seeing you know a uh, creature or monster with human and everything there are twists and very dark themes within this story this is only the pg-13 version okay so whatever version um ariana has on patreon that's more of the rated m or rated r18 of course and oh i forgot to say the summary so the summary really is saying trapped in a patrol to a cruel man and a religion that hates her kind lena goes searching for an angel and finds salvation in the arms of a monster and of course she uh also put that it updates every 15 days on a wednesday and the r18 version is on patreon so um yeah so that's basically what it is so like while she's dealing with you know not having much power in her hands and can't really at the time fight against what was set before her father's death we have where lena will run to like an abandoned building of ruins and then she stumbles across like a statue a gargoyle and she always goes there almost every night or every day and you know tells of her woes all of her troubles frustrations and everything and even though she has her friend meg who you can tell off the bat she's the only one that looks like that has Lena's back and everything but she can't really say nothing because 
again is a society do not dominated by men particularly that of the church so they don't really have much say so um while she's doing that one day he wakes up rain wakes up and he comforts her okay and then she's wondering hold on all this time i'm coming running to you <laughs> thinking you know you can't hear me you're actually real mind you remember at the end of the day rain is a gargoyle so he may be stone and stiff and unmoving during the day but when it comes to nighttime he's just like anybody else amongst the living despite his exterior look and like i don't want to get too much to spoil everyone but like i said if you are into romance it, it there is uh angst there is like spicy stuff that happens pg-13 mind you but also there is mystery particularly with lena's heritage from her mother's side of the family and also with her father and they're still trying to unveil why her father did what he did even though he, it is claimed by lena herself that her father adored her he loved her but why would he leave her in the hands of a person that's willing to abuse her and by the actions of what he says the pastor it may seem that he also has beef with Lena's mother okay this man has problems okay and the church abuses her as well because of who Lena is and what she basically what her where her interests lie okay they're trying to take over her and it's more like a story of Lena trying to grow in her own agency growing into her own person and having power for herself and now not allowing power being taken away from her by others aka the church aka her fiance the pastor okay and rain is there to help her discover that while at the same time he has his own inner demons to face okay because how they did gargoyles in this story it is really messed up because they're just like humans they have feelings they have emotions they care for each other they care for their own kind and the way gargoyles were done in this story makes you truly believe that humans at the end of the day are demons okay walking on earth claiming that they are you know the better species they're the ones that are holding and godlike and christian like and what they did Man, you just want to see what Rain did within the first two chapters happen to a lot of these pastors, a lot of these church people. And of course, there are other characters like I stated, but this is definitely worth a read. Not only if you're a monster lover and you love like different species getting in a romance like a human and a gargoyle or a human and a monster or anything of that type of stuff, but it just really is more of like especially in this type of story and the setting it is and it's nice to see where it's a female lead and what her surroundings in life is like and how it impacts her and how she has to overcome against a society that is constantly against her and against her identity that's trying to cover it up that's trying to destroy who she is and she has to ha find the strength the inner strength as well as having outer strength to back her up and build her up and at the same time it's nice to see like for the first time in a long while that uh not all gargoyles are bad they actually do want to help and they're actually nice but just don't do any wrong by them okay so hopefully i convince you guys to go check out antoman on webtoons it is also on tapas so i'm gonna try to find the link and put it into the description box for you guys to click on there if that's the website that you use to read most of your webtoons and manwas but if you want to go directly for webtoons I'll also put that in the link as well. Also support the creator on Patreon if you can. Um, it will really help out with her work and everything and keep, you know, her putting out all of this amazing work online for us to read legally and for free. Okay, and the rest of the links are in the description box so you guys can go check that out. And I'm Kimmy Chan of Anime Legends. And guys, if you have anything that you want me to go check out, any recommendations, 
manga, webtoons, manhwas, that sort of thing, do leave in the comments because I would love to check them out and read it for myself and I could possibly put it into the next video for more people to check out as well. And I will see you guys later. Bye!